The fear of failure is often used as a person's reason why they don't go out and do something. I'm scared that if I try something I might fail and therefore it might end up costing me money, time or energy or whatever the case may be. I read a wonderful book by Seth Godin called Tribes. And in that book he says it's not really the fear of failure that people are concerned about. It's really the assignment of blame. It's the criticism. It's the thought that somebody might not like you as opposed to the thought that you might fail. And that's powerful if you think about it. Because what that is really doing is it's challenging the way you think. It's saying to yourself, are you really letting other people lead your life just by their opinion? And the reality of it is that I think that a lot of people actually do do that. Now let me give you a tip of advice. If it's constructive criticism, you do something and someone comes back and says, you know, I don't think that's going to work very well, or you know, that didn't work very well, but let me give you three or four reasons why that was the case. And you can go back and you can work on being better. That's actually positive. That's training, if you will. But if it's just criticism for the sure sake of criticism, I don't like that. And they don't tell you why? Well, chances are they're just jealous and for sure they're a coward because they won't even give the opportunity to understand where they're coming from. That's what a coward does. He just hides behind a statement without giving a logical reason. So, don't have the fear of failure because you know what? Winners, they fail all the time. Winners fail all the time, they just get back up again, and the odds end up working in their favor because they take so many shots. So don't be scared of failure. Get that excuse out of your vernacular, and don't be fearful of the criticism. As a matter of fact, go looking for it. Look to be remarkable. Look to be criticized. Rock the boat a little bit. Be a lot different. And when your competition is criticizing you and they can't tell you why, then you know it's because in their brain, they're jealous of what you're doing.